What is up guys, Jake from OneHive and it's time for another attack strategy video. This one is going to be on Go La Loon. Um, the power of this attack, uh, and it can take out a lot of different styles of bases, is, is in the tanking. You've got five tanks, we're talking about two golems, three lava hounds. Uh, now really what makes this attack sort of strong and, and overpowered is the queen, strangely enough. Um, the two golems going in and tanking for the queen, that's why we bring two. It's, they don't have to be real spread out like in a traditional go wee wee or a go wipe. Uh, clumping them up's okay because all their job is is to give the queen time to let her sit back, take out air defenses, take out the enemy queen, possibly Teslas, uh, anything in that area. You're, you're taking out an area with a, with a relatively low investment because you can let those golems sit up there, take all the damage, and the queen just has all the time in the world to sit back and snipe, uh, take out, again, the queen, the, the air defenses, whatever you're trying to do. Uh, so that's the, that's the real strength behind it. And then when you throw on top of that uh, three lava hounds followed up by a bunch of balloons uh, and the lava hounds busting, turning into pups, it's just a very uh, formidable strategy at this point until some type of nerf happens. You can take out a lot of bases with this. Uh, it's not, again, it's not the perfect strategy. It's not the perfect attack. I'm not saying it will work on every base out there, although it is a, uh, it is a powerful attack and it will work on a lot of different styles of bases. Um, as far as the queen goes, I wouldn't try this with a level 10 queen. Uh, it's, it's most effective when you've got a pretty high queen uh, and king because not only are you've got two golems to tank for her, when you throw that king out there, uh, it's almost like having a third tank. Uh, and she just has so much time. It's so, she can get so much done uh, before you ever start your air attack. Uh, so that's my, my recommendation is have a pretty uh, high level heroes. Let's say at least level 15, preferably level 20 or higher. And you're going to be able to take out very high level Town Hall 9s using this uh, attack strategy. And it will even translate some into Town Hall 10. So some of the things we say will carry over and hold true for Town Hall 10 as well. Uh, but normal format style, we're going to look at three attacks. We're going to look at the bases, talk about the attack, and talk about uh, how, why they're successful, and then show the attack. Uh, so let's get to the first one and see how it goes. All right, sort of like money was uh, in our Town Hall 8 uh, Dragloon attack, uh, Raisin is going to be our model for today. She, all three attacks are by Raisin. Uh, this is something that she is, I guess, specializing in because she does a lot of it, and she does it very, very well. Uh, so we're going to use three of her attacks just to show you. Uh, the first one we're looking at here, obviously a familiar base, the general. A lot of ways it can be wrecked. Not saying this is the only way, just it's a good illustration for this attack, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, first thing that Raisin does is send two golems in. She sends them right together, no problem there, uh, and backs it up with wizards. You still have to make your funnel, guys. You, you know, she drops wizards, uh, her heroes. You have to direct your troops where you want them to go. This is not a spam attack. Uh, then she brings a jump spell, uh, places it there so that they can get into the queen, uh, get in here. And now with the two golems, with the king, all of this gets taken out. You know, the, the two air defenses... All the defenses around there, the queen has time to sit back and take all of that stuff out. Obviously, the queen, the king, and some of the wizards help as well. Uh, but when you've got those two, those two golems out front, it just gives her time. She sits back, she does her sniping, and then she, you know, once she goes down, so much of the base has been wrecked just for that investment of two golems, a few wizards. Uh, brings a lightning. Always uh, bring a lightning for the CC troops now. If you get stuck with a with a wizard in there, you sort of wasted a spell. But that's or excuse me, a wizard. If you get stuck with a dragon in the, in the clan castle, you sort of wasted a spell. But you know, look for that on cleanup attacks. You'll know. Uh, but on, on an initial attack, it's, it's a risk. But you need a lightning to uh, take out the clan castle troops and then allow them to come in. Now at that point, uh, once it's all done, all of those uh, defenses have been taken down. Uh, Racing comes in with a. Uh, she sends all three of her. Uh, lava hounds, all three together just to cut across the base. Now the reason she deploys them from this side, even though these air defenses are down, is she wants to soak up, soak up those air traps, which they do. There's air traps in here, uh, the lava hounds soak them up. Then she just starts dropping balloons. It's not spam balloon, it's targeted balloons. A few uh, balloons for this, a few for here, uh, as you work your way around, a few for there. Then she, as the lava hounds make their way and they get over here, she drops a rage few balloons here, and you work in that counterclockwise motion, uh, dropping balloons just targeted on the defenses. Once this air defense goes down, obviously the lava hounds are going to redirect. They're going to come up down here, soak up any other remaining air traps, and the balloons are going to work their way around as well. So you want that 
clockwise or counterclockwise motion, you want to bring two golems to let give your uh, heroes, your queen namely, time to really take out a section of the base. You always want the golems, the kill squad, to take out at least one air defense, the queen and the clan castle troops. Uh, a second air defense is a bonus, like on this base where you can really get to a second one pretty easily. Uh, that, that's sort of a bonus. But you don't have to do that. You can do it with just one air defense being taken out. But always take out at least one, the queen and the CC troops. Then start your deployment in a clockwise fashion or counterclockwise, just in a, working around the base. That's the best path for the loons. Uh, and w place your rages properly. Be careful where you put those at. Uh, you know, you have to sort of, it's, there's not, there's no way for me to sit here and tell you this is the best place to put your rages. It's got to be depending on which, how, how fast things go down, which way your looms are clumped up more. Uh, give them the most benefit you can. So let's watch Raze and do this attack, and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, here we go. Uh, again, the, the golems go down, uh, brings a max golem. Uh, that's a good point right there. Let me stop and pause it and talk about that. Uh, opt for a, a max golem if you have access to it over a max lava hound two reasons one the whole point of this double golem uh, push is to get give your queen ample time to take out as many defenses uh, namely air defenses and towers as she can the extra hit points from your golem is going to give her more time and you want your lava hounds to bust so yes you get you I'm sorry about that yes you get more pups out of that max lava hound but it might not bust and then you've sort of hurt yourself so i say bring a max golem in your cc and one of your own uh then right there funnels created by the wizards the heroes are falling in everything's going straight in they're already locked on the queen nice jump spell and you notice how she placed the jump spell the jump spell is now directing her troops towards that second air defense, not towards the one that the queen right there is sniping going to take down, but towards that one down lower. It doesn't connect the upper compartments, it connects those. So think about your jump spell placement. Uh, it does help you direct your troops. Uh, first, uh, lightning goes down, uh, CC troops are done for, uh, first air defense is down, and now again, look at this golem still tanking. The queen's taking no damage. She's sitting back here, she's sniping, she's doing everything just now. The expo locks on, but she's even going to take it out. All three Lava Hounds go down. Look at all those air traps they're soaking up. Uh, a Rage waiting on them, and look at the balloon deployment. Just wrapping it around, working their way. As soon as this air defense go down, the first Lava, Pup, but, lava Hound bust, uh, they're going to work their way down to the second air defense. Now another Rage waiting on these loons coming in to get to that air defense as quick as possible and just targeted balloons. Here's a few for this defense. Here's a few for that one. Uh, and they all just sort of clump up towards the end and get the job done. You see right there one more uh, Lava Hound bust. Actually, she has one that does not bust in this attack. Again, that's why you bring the Max Golem as opposed to the Max uh, Lava Hound because sometimes, depending on how fast the, the attack takes place, you won't have one bust, and that's sort of, that hurts you. You might run out of time because of that. Uh, obviously, Raisin does not. She has plenty of time and plenty of cleanup troops. You'll see the pups up here uh, taking care of everything. But make sure that you that you think about that and don't just say, okay, I need a max lava hound because I'm doing a, a Lalunian attack. This is a go Lalunian, and the golem uh, is going to serve you better. So let's look at another one that Raisin did and talk about it. All right, here's the next base we're going to look at. Uh, Raisin brings a very similar attack style on this one. Uh, two golems right here. Uh, then immediately, guys, remember you have to make your funnel. If not, your king, your queen uh, are going to start wrapping around the base on you. So drops are wizards. That's why you bring wizards, to create your funnel. Yes, it helps back up your troops some, but the main reason is to create your funnel. Uh, brings a jump spell right here for this compartment. The queen is obviously going to jump over this wall. Uh, you know, king, queen, they all come in. And look at this base, how perfectly it's set up. You've got the queen, you've got air defense, air defense, pointed up expo, uh, archer tower. All that's going to get taken out, ideally. Now, this bottom uh, air defense right here does barely make it through that attack because uh, there's, there's a lot of damage coming in right here. Uh, so, But quickly, when the first lava hound gets there uh, and some balloons to back it up, it goes down. But ideally that would have been taken out because they're all right there handy these are the type of bases you want to look for for this attack style uh, but you know king queen come in all that gets taken out then then she switches over to her to her lava hound attack uh, sends the first lava hound in here obviously with some targeted balloons on these defenses drops a rage lets them get in there and then again that gets taken out really quickly uh, so then they're all going to head this way then drops two the two remaining lava hounds together on this air defense here more targeted balloons a rage and as they work their way through she finishes up with her balloons still in this counterclockwise motion 
uh, and they just tear through this base. It's not a lot. There doesn't have to be a lot of planning to this, guys. I mean, there is and there's not. Once you start the attack, it's sort of on autopilot. It's not like a hog attack where you got to watch your hogs. Uh, you put your you put your troops in the right places, and then you let them go. Uh, and so we'll watch this attack and see how it does it, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about one more base and then wrap this up. Okay, here we go. Uh, golems go down uh, immediately. The the right behind them wizards to create that funnel. Uh, that's I, I can't stress that enough, guys. You got to create your funnel. Uh, then the heroes go down. Jump spell goes right there. Perfect placement. Uh, now everything's going to go in, and they're going to start targeting the the defenses that she needs to take down. Uh, that's how you direct your troops where you want them to go. Lightning right here uh, does a good, pretty good job. Takes out most of the CC troops, but the queen is having to take out a few remainders. Uh, the king already busted there. He was taking a lot of damage. Use the ability, but look how long the ability is there. Get that ability in quickly uh, because you want that king doing as much damage as he can as well. Uh, right there, turns on the first air defense. It goes down. Now she's sort of distracted here, and really those golems going away uh, out of range of that Tesla cost her getting that second um, cost her getting that second air defense. If the golems had stayed there and tanked in that direction, uh, would have got it taken down too. But right here, Lava Hound comes in, soaks up some traps, few balloons to back it up, and Rage. That's that air defense is going to go down as soon as that Lava Hound busts and a few of those pups uh, on Rage target that air defense. Then on the second side, two Lava Hounds, Rage for them, targeted balloons, just send a few for each defense building and then again this uh, cl counterclockwise motion that pushes everything to the core that keeps your balloons from having to travel as far it keeps them from having to go all the way out to these outlying uh, defenses those balloons that she's sending and reinforcements extra are going to take care of that uh, all of her uh, lava hounds busted on this one which is a good thing you see this last swarm of d balloons here taking out the last few defenses that can really bother them that archer tower is way outgunned and you see how many pups she's got for cleanup so just a beautiful attack uh we'll fast forward as she gets the cleanup here and we'll watch one more we'll break that attack down and then we'll wrap this up uh and hopefully you guys have a uh, another attack style to put in your bag of tricks all right, here's the last base we're gonna look at. Um, you can see this one's a little different. All of these cord air defenses, and you would think, okay, this is traditionally not what we would consider a good uh, Lalunian or even a Galunian attack base, but if you look at it a little closer, the queen's a non-issue. One thing, she's a low level, and two, she's terribly exposed. So what Brazen does is, again, just two golems right here on top of each other, uh, just some wall breakers to get through the wall there, and then, the queen's going to go down instantly, but all you've got is one, two, three, four, and call this five defenses uh, with a Tesla there. Uh, that's that's not a lot to deal with with two golems tanking in both of your heroes. So once that goes down, obviously, again, wizards go down. You've got to create your funnel. Do not forget that step or it will not work for you guys. Uh, the, everything moves their way in, drops a nice jump spell right here to let the golems continue moving forward, to continue tanking. And what happens is when all these... Uh, all this goes down now there's nothing to hit the queen she has all the time in the world she's got these got these golems up here tanking she makes her way all the way in takes out two air defenses plus all this stuff goes down so just a really uh, it was wide open for her because of all the tanking she had so she had more than enough time to sit back here and devastate this side of the base then uh, uh, Raisin comes in with all three Lava Hounds just right on top of this one and then starts her her targeted balloons all the way around the base. I mean, everything gets a few balloons, uh, drops a Rage, obviously, uh, gets things moving, and then a Rage over here for this side. And you'll see when the when the Lava Hounds start busting, this, uh, this base had all traps set to air, the skeleton traps. It was all air traps. They bunch up, but when those Lava Pups are under Rage and they start, and they Lava hounds start busting, they rip through those traps. So that's that's a, a good thing to remember is when that happens, give them a rage. When they start busting, give those lava pups a rage because they can really help you out. Uh, so we'll watch this attack, guys, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, here we go. Uh, golems go down. Again, a few wall breakers just to poke through that wall there. Uh, you'll see the, the heroes go down, and right there, the, the wizards are going to start creating that funnel, keep them from wrapping around the base, but they're already locked on the queen, so that's going to draw them in as well. Uh, queen's dead already. Here's your lightning spell coming in just a moment for the CC troops right there. Boom. And now you'll see the CC troops are dead. 
she's got these golems out front and this level 30 queen back here. Again, you want a pretty high level queen. It doesn't have to be level 30, but you want a beefy queen. She just sits back and snipes, even has a few wizards to help back her up because those golems are doing all the tanking. Uh, right here, the expo is going to go down. She went ahead and used her ability just to get a few more archers out there because nothing's really hitting them. Uh, there's nothing in range that's not already focused on the on the golems. Uh, the king comes over. He's going to get taken out right here. And then right as soon as he goes down, the queen's going to move in. She focuses on this clan castle troop first, but that's no big deal because, again, nothing can touch her. She's out of range. Everything that was in range is already dead. So she takes out a few more storages. And then right here, air defense, air defense. Just boom, two of them down. Here comes the air attack. All three lava hounds, a few a few balloons down there for that south compartment, a few up there. Just, I'm sorry, I was a little off on the rage placement, but uh, that's smart rage placement because that gives uh, all those defenses in those big compartments. Uh, those balloons are staying raged. You see, just coming in from all angles with balloons. Uh, again, raging in the core there to let those lava pups help take out all those air skeletons. Um, does have one lava hound that does not bust on this attack just because it happened so quickly uh, the defenses really didn't even have time to take it out so uh, just wreck this base and all of these attacks just just got absolutely these bases got wrecked guys this is a powerful attack strategy again it's not the perfect one it doesn't work on every base out there but uh, start practicing it use it on ones that maybe you can't hog or you know it's just not working and, and you, you need the stars for your clan try it out uh, but use these tips and focus on what uh, what the reason behind it is, which is to give your queen time to really uh, devastate the air defense at the base, then send your air attack in. Hope you guys like it. Till next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.